online reviews. Please welcome Benjamin Yost from TrustU. Good morning, everybody. With me on stage, my co-founder, Jacob Riga. So today, we're here to share with you our vision how user-generated content in travel will be used and organized in the future. So users write reviews. They do that a lot. As an industry, we've aggregated millions and millions of reviews of comments. It's spread across multiple platforms, review sites, OTAs, Foursquare, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. It's becoming a commodity. And because of that, it's becoming overwhelming. It is an information chaos out there. Because of that, there are three fundamental questions. First, a user doesn't know how to find the relevant information for me. The travel website has no clue how to guide the users through these tons of content other than showing huge lists. And at the end of the value chain, there are hoteliers who don't know what the guests are writing about them. It's happening out there. It's not happening in the hotel anymore. So we thought there has to be a better way. And we invented a technology that takes this information chaos, put meaning to that, understand it, and at the end, we get something out which is structured and which is usable. So does this sound like magic to you? If yes, we thought it's, it's a good idea to bring our magic box out here to Phoenix. And that's what we're going to show you live. So what we're doing now, we're going to a website that has a few reviews. You probably know that. Um, we're just copying one review, huge long text information. We put it in the magic box. That's live now. We press a button, and in seconds, we get structured, meaningful information. So we know exactly the topic the user wrote about. We know exactly the sentiment. And we are not talking about keyword concepts here. We are talking about understanding a full concept. So let's look at one. The user here said he liked the queen size bed. It was a bit hard, but generally comfortable. Full concept. So taking unstructured information, put meaning to it and get something out which is meaningful and useful and structured. We can even go further and we can categorize it. In this case, it's a hotel. So we can say, what did they like or dislike about the food, about the hotel, about the location, etc., etc. So now imagine, we wouldn't have done that for one review, but imagine we would do that for 100 million reviews. And imagine further, you not only structure them, but you can search for them. Now, the future is here today. For the first time, we have a one-box search approach for the travel industry, and I can search for something that matters to me. Let's try it out. I want to go, let's say, to Paris with my wife to a romantic trip, and I like something modern here. Let's try and search this. We press the search, and what I get, I match your query to the wisdom of the crowd, and I get a meaningful result list. For the first time, we're introducing quality information to search. So I, I can see exactly what the people liked and disliked about that. Now we can even filter. And I don't filter for something, amenities or whatever. I filter on user reviews. Let's say I want to add free Wi-Fi. And I want to know what the people said about that. Is it really free? How good is it? Do I add that? Let's look at this. 46 people said free Wi-Fi. I click on it, and I see exact the corresponding reviews to that. I mean, that's cool. Now, 
I can even click on a hotel if I like that one. And now, instead of reading through 1,200 reviews, which probably takes 30 days, I get in a blink of an eye what the people liked and disliked. Less than one minute. What's good, what's bad? So this is user-generated content 2.0. So we even go further. Imagine the, the, the problem the hoteliers have. So they don't know what the guests are talking about then. We introducing a social media platform for the hoteliers. So they know exactly what the guests think and what they like in this one. You can log in in any browser. And what we see now is a view of a manager of the Bellagio Las Vegas, and he gets in one second, he immediately sees how many reviews are posted, which platform, what's the score. He then gets review ticker, he gets alerted when something new can, gets in. He can benchmark to the competition. And then he can see how he's perceived by his guests. Very valuable information in these reviews. So what type of travelers like my hotel? I can use this information for marketing, for targeting. And one step further, I can use this information for quality management. So what did they like and disliked again? How many people said that? And I do this in English, I do this in Spanish, in German, in French, and so on and so on. So I get a full overview of the quality of my hotel. So there is a lot of other features we can't show you because of the time. Uh, we want to show you one. Obviously, want to also know what's, what's going on on Flickr, on YouTube, etc., etc. And then you can post comments to the reviews immediately out of the dashboard. There's something new coming in, you read it, you get alerted, you post something. You can post it on t Twitter, you can post it on fa Facebook, you can post it on TripAdvisor, wherever. So that is quality management 2.0. So let's go back to the slides. We solved three fundamental problems. Structuring the content, putting meaning to it. Then on top of that, we're able to search that. And we're able to give something that is a full analysis of this content. So the good news is, we don't do this for ourselves. We are an infrastructure provider for the industry. In fact, we want to be the intel inside of user-generated content wherever it happens. We're doing that already. Uh, we have more than 1,000 customers already. We started this year promoting our products. We power the biggest review website in Europe, a couple of OTAs, and we're adding new customers each day. So to summarize, in a nutshell, in three words, what we're doing, we call it social semantic search. That's what we do. Thank you very much. Okay, now it's time for some questions. One thing that came to my mind is that people have different personas. So that I'm a business traveler, I'm traveling with my family and so forth. How does your semantic search take into account what kind of traveler I am, what kind of perspective I have when aggregating those reviews? And we looked at that and the funny thing is, it doesn't matter if at the end a family person said it's a family hotel or a business traveler said that's more for a family. Basically, both, both comments are valuable and uh, it depends on the content you find, but both, contents, uh, both comments are valuable. And if you aggregate them together and you see 100 or 200 of these comments, that's really the wisdom of the crowd and that's valuable information. What about the geographic differences so that uh, a German tourist might have different expectations than a French tourist, than a, a U.S. citizen? How do you account for those differences? 
Well, what we do, as I said before, we cover that in different languages. We analyze content in, in French and Spanish and Portuguese, et cetera, et cetera. So the, the, the good thing is, if you would go, for example, to a trip in Germany, and there's very few reviews about that, we can show you, we can show you as well the German reviews and translate that to them. And you can see immediately, okay, this is what the German said. I don't understand it, but we translate it to you. So this is how we play that, um, obviously, yeah. There. And have you seen trends uh, geographically, so different types of comments Not really. different different regions? Not really. It's like uh, the, people, the people write about the same stuff, what they like and what they dislike. It's not really um, uh, about what the American like or what the German like. Uh, a question from the audience, uh, in which way is your search semantic? Well, what, what you see, it's like what we... We have the query, and the query is semantic because we understand exactly what, what you're searching for, and we match that to, you search for hip, and we match that for everything else which is around, modern, boutique, hotel, whatever. So that's, that's what you call semantic. Okay, great. All right, folks, it's time to vote now.